Hey YouTube, I've had quite a few folks asking about how I do my karaoke setup for VTubing lately, uh, so that means it's time for another quick tutorial. I'll be covering how I do my visual effects, my audio effects like reverb, and how I get all of these to sync up seamlessly so that the stream doesn't look like a poorly dubbed video. Before I jump into my setup, make sure that you have already separated your audio in OBS before attempting any kind of karaoke stream. You do not want to end up getting DMCA'd. Karaoke is technically not allowed on Twitch. It does go against TOS, but it's a fairly common practice and rarely enforced on Twitch's end. Instead, the biggest consequence tends to be muted portions on streams or, if you aren't careful about separating your audio, DMCA strikes. Unless you plan on doing acapella singing, you need to have your audio track separated so that your backing track does not end up in clips or your VOD. I'll link to a tutorial about how to do that in the description. Now, even with my audio separated, I've still had portions of my stream muted when singing karaoke, which... Pff, I'll take that as a compliment if Twitch thinks I'm that close to the source material. Okay, vocals! But as of recording this video, I have never received a copyright strike on Twitch despite singing karaoke multiple times a month. I'm not sure what YouTube streaming rules are, but just make sure you do your due diligence about rules on your streaming service of choice before doing any kind of music on stream. Basically, know the risks, you know, know that you are technically breaking the rules. Uh, and if that stresses you out, you may just want to avoid it altogether. But with that out of the way, let's dive right into my setup. So for the visuals, to achieve this look like I'm on stage with lighting effects and camera angles, I use a program called Shoost. I've been using this built-in feature that looks like a big jumbotron is behind me, but there are so many fun visual effects this app is capable of, and I highly recommend just taking a day to play around with it and find what settings you like. You can turn the camera switching on and off right here with this button, and in the settings you can choose how the cuts transition from one to the next. Personally, I like the jump cuts because it looks like a real concert with multiple cameras pointed at you versus one camera zooming in and out, but that's all personal preference. You can also change the speed of the cuts. In fact, you can even put in the beats per minute of the song you're singing to make sure it lines up perfectly. I leave it on 120 beats per minute, which works for most songs as it's very common and I don't want to have to think about it on the fly. Once you've got the setup you want, you can save that as a file so that next time you can load that file in and all your settings will be back to where you left them. And you can even create multiple profiles, maybe for when you're doing a just chatting stream, one for when you're singing karaoke, etc. Now you do currently have to be a member of the $5 tier on Miro's Patreon to unlock access to this program. It is still in early access, it is not widely available yet, uh, but I do have the link to that in the description. You don't need to be a perpetual Patreon sub to use it, you just need it to get access to that initial download. However, for future updates, you'll have to make sure you continue to have access. It does not auto-update. You will need to purchase access again to get the latest version. And, of course, if you can afford to remain a patron, it'd be great to support a small developer making such a cool VTubing tool. Now for audio effects. I use VoiceMod to do my karaoke mic, but I wasn't quite satisfied with any of the presets, so I actually went into Voice Lab and ended up making my own custom effect. Feel free to play around with what sounds best to you, but these are my settings for karaoke, including delay, reverb, and double pitch. Voice Lab is a premium feature, but if you're looking to pick up a VoiceMod Pro license anyway, I do have a referral link below and you can use code ENTITY to get 5% off. Alternatively, you could just use free OBS plugins to achieve a similar effect. My friend Snab recently told me about this great reverb plugin, which I will also link below in the description. Now for the one that I get asked about a lot, which is how to sync up all your audio. The biggest complaint and frustration point I see with karaoke streams is how to get your mic to sync up both with the music and with your VTuber's mouth movements. Luckily, there is a sync offset feature in OBS's audio settings that will let us add a delay to our backing track and microphone. You can find this by clicking on the gear icon below your audio monitoring panel. 
Now, even with VTube Studio or VC Face alone, you may notice there's a slight delay between your voice and your model. So I do recommend setting up a small delay on your mic for even basic everyday streaming. But when you're using Shoost, there is a significant delay. So I decided to make a scene just for shoe streams where I actually have a copy of my mic in OBS that has an even longer delay than usual. You can do this by adding a new audio input with a different name, but the same source as your normal mic, and then make sure this scene does not have your normal mic in it, or at least mute it. That way you don't end up doubling up your sound. Do the same thing with the audio input that you will be running your karaoke music through. Next, it's time to start testing. <laughs> Grab a karaoke track and start recording yourself singing. Play back your recording, check the delay between your mouth movements, music, and voice, and make adjustments as necessary in the sync offset. Then just rinse and repeat until it all lines up. Personally, I have a delay of 250 milliseconds on my mic and 350 milliseconds on my music, but it will vary depending on your setup and your internet connection. And that's it, that's my karaoke setup. If you wanna see it in action sometime, stop on by my Twitch streams. I have a channel point redeem to make me sing karaoke, uh, so it happens quite often. Or if you're just interested in more VTuber tips and tutorials, be sure to subscribe here on YouTube. I love posting educational content. If you know another VTuber who's been wanting to do karaoke but doesn't know how to set it up, share this video with them and tell them they don't have an excuse anymore. That's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one.